Hey guys, this is Jared with Lightshine 3D Services. I want to show you a video today that hopefully will help you out if you're using or you've never used Epilogue Job Manager, but you want to get into using it um, so that you can preview jobs, check out your settings that you used on, on uh, previous jobs that you've done, uh, that sort of thing. Um, it can be a super big help, but it can also be a pain in the butt if you've never opened up Job Manager, but you've been using your laser for a while. Um, what happens is every file that you've ever sent to your laser is more than likely waiting in queue uh, for the time that you open Job Manager. And it's going to try to flood in with all of these files um, that are kind of slow about coming into Job Manager. Um, so I'm going to show you how you go into that uh, area where those files are stored and how you can alter the file or delete those files um, so that they don't come in at all. Um, so here, here's how you do that. I've got, you can see I've got my job manager here. I've got lots and lots of old files that are showing up here and I've got even more that are in folders over here. Um, but what I would do is come down to one of my file explorers. So I'm gonna click on my file explorer window or, or folder there. Um, and then where it says quick access here, this is Windows 10. Um, I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and then hit enter. I'm going to find my epilogue laser folder. And then right here, I've got a folder called print queue. And when I open this up, there's going to be all the files. I, I know I have my job manager open already. I use it all the time. So I don't have any full, uh, files waiting around in here. But if I did, and in your case, you might have hundreds or thousands, those files are going to try to jump into job manager. Well, we don't want that to happen because it will freeze your computer up and probably make you never want to use job manager again. So what I would recommend do, doing here is to just simply add a number, like one, to print queue. That way you've got those files. If you ever need them, they'll still be in there, but it's not going to see that because this is, this is not the folder name that this is pulling from. So now it doesn't even see that there's a print queue folder. Um, and then you would be able to open Job Manager safely. Now, if you have this epilogue job management database file here, you might even want to go a step further, and I'm just going to cut mine and paste it on my desktop here. Let's see where this goes. Um, for some reason, it's not letting me do that right now because this is in use. Let me try it again. Um, cut and then paste. There we go. Threw it to one of my other screens here. But anyway, there's my file so that I can I can pull it in later. But I want to show you what happens when I open Epilogue Job Manager now. It opens this up like it's a very fresh install, brand new install. It doesn't even have my laser listed here. Um, so if you want to start over from the beginning, even though if you've, you've had Job Manager previously installed, you don't have to reinstall it or anything. Um, just get rid of that database file that was there. Um, and now mine's probably going to create a new one here. Let me hit refresh. Yeah, you can see that it created a print queue folder. So I'm going to delete again, and then it created an epilogue job management database. I'm going to get rid of that database file, and I'm going to pull my old one back in so that when I open this up, my files that I use are actually still going to be there. might take a few seconds here, but you can see it created the new print queue folder. And here's all my files that I previously had. All right. I don't want to get into this video of why I use Job Manager, but just trust me, there's some really cool things. I think I've done some videos in the past on, on why I use it and how I use it to preview files. Um, but I can tell you it is a really good thing to have, um, and this will make it more user-friendly for opening your file or opening Job Manager for the first time. So anyway, try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, give me some comments. Um, let me know if it helps you. And we'll catch you in the next video.